Okay, hello and welcome to this house walkthrough, which is probably a walkthrough of what's uh, probably, or not probably a walkthrough, but uh, this house here is probably the most big and grand that I've built so far because it is huge, as you can see, or relatively huge, and it actually has four levels, which is... Uh, well, pretty much nothing I've ever done before in this world. I think there are some houses that have three levels, but those are mostly older designs. And, uh, well, let's, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and take a look here. This is a little sprinkler in the yard with a, uh, a tripwire string leading to it, and that's kind of like the uh, hose spigot on the side of the house. That's yeah, just kind of a neat little idea I thought up while I was uh, out on a bike ride seeing the sprinklers and stuff in front of people's houses. And here we have a hopper planter sort of thing with a daffodil, or whatever you want to consider it, planted in there. We also have a bit of wheat, some ferns, and some nice stuff like that. So let's go ahead and go in. And here we have a three block wide entryway, which I think, well, no, it's not quite unprecedented, but it's still fairly rare. Off to this side we have the garage, which actually has these built-in storage shelves. And, let's see, off to this side we have a hall closet, which has shelves, a built-in chest down there, as you can kind of see. Three of them in total, plus the shelves. And on this level we have a bathroom, which is a full-size one, I believe. A toilet, a sink, shower, all that good stuff. Then we also have a bedroom, which is uh, four by three. I go and close that. There we go. And back here we have a laundry room with some shelves, uh, the washer, dryer, like some detergent or something like that. I guess that's what that's supposed to be. Another torch for lighting, a wash basin, and a door to the outside. And let's go ahead and go back in. There we go. And let's see, I guess from here, i close this. There we go. Fill this in, since obviously I missed that the first time around. Okay, now... Let's just go ahead and go downstairs to the basement. And this main area is a fairly large family room sort of thing. And there's also a little closet in here. Just for the sake of having more storage, because you can never have enough of that. And here's the utility room with the water heater and the uh, furnace. And that's pretty much all there is to the lower level. So let's go on up to the main floor, and this is the main living room, which I think is pretty big. It's got a nice wide window with a pretty nice view of the neighborhood. Back here we have the dining room and the deck off the back of the house with a small little cement patio. And uh, it's a pretty decently sized backyard. I don't know what I'm going to do back here, so I haven't put in the back fence yet. But uh, that's, that'll come in due time, I suppose. And here we have the kitchen with a little window that you can serve stuff through. Plenty of cabinets, uh, stove, crafting table, sink. It's a bit crowded in here, but I think everything fits in pretty well. And, of course, we also have the vaulted ceiling. What would a nice house be without that? <laughs> so let's go up now and see what's going on. And here is one bedroom, and the other next to it. Neither of them have any furniture or anything, but they're pretty big. I think 4x4 four four on this one, and 4x5 on the one next to it. I might actually do like a let's furnish sort of thing on this house, but I don't know for sure. The key word here is might. Might. So here's the other bedroom. There are, uh, I think, three on the main level. This one also has its own little closet. And let's head over to the bathroom. 
which is, as you can see, the main one. It's pretty big. It's got the shower, the, uh, the, I don't know what that's called. I guess like the linen cabinets, the vanity, the toilet, pretty much everything. Plus a little window. And, yeah, this is pretty decently sized landing, too. Bigger than most of the ones I've made so far. And let's just go ahead and go back down real quick. And take a look at the front of the house once more. Underneath these shrubs here, I have, uh, I have some of the, I think, spruce wood. You know, like the actual wood from the tree, and not just the planks. You can't see that because I have it on fast graphics, but uh, it just adds a bit more uh, realism, I guess, more than just having grass or gravel underneath the shrubs. And, uh, you know, there's the spigot that I pointed out earlier, the little holes going through the sprinkler. <laughs> and in front of the house with these sort of fence features. Which I think, you know, looks a bit odd, but I think it also looks kind of cool at the same time. Really strikes a mix between the two, I guess. So, I think that wraps this one up. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do next. I think there's maybe one or two more houses on this block, and probably a couple of things that I've got floating around in my mind that I have yet to create, and a couple other things on another, on another uh, block a little ways away. So... Yeah, I think that wraps this video up. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, a comment. Uh, if not, then add some, or leave some positive feedback, I guess. Or not just positive feedback, I guess. Constructive criticism is what I was meaning to say. And, uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. So, like I said, thanks for watching, and see you next time.